Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. I'm Masaya Koshizaka from Department of Endocrinology, Hematology and Gerontology and the Center for Preventive Medical Sciences in Chiba University. Today I talk about our study named Renal Dysfunction Malignant Neoplasmas atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases and sarcopenia as key outcome observed in a three-year follow-up study using the Werner syndrome registry. At first, I'd like to introduce um, Werner syndrome. Werner syndrome is an autosomal recessive adult onset progeroid disorder that affects approximately 700 to 2,000 individuals in Japan. Most of reported cases, about 60 to 80 percent, were from Japan. Patients with Werner syndrome present with various aging phenotypes from a young age, like this, graying and a loss of hair present in their third decade of life, bilateral cataracts, and diabetes around their fourth decade of life, and atherosclerotic disorders and, uh, and diseases, and malignant neoplasmas around their fourth, fifth decade of life. These patients also develop a high proportion, about 70%, of skin ulcer like this, often requiring amputation of the lower ex extremities, about 30%. Since it is a rare disease, there is often a long, long period between the disease onset and the diagnosis. Therefore, early detection and the therapeutic intervention are important. Recently, the number of long-term survivors has increased due to therapeutic advance, advances. However, new complications have also been observed. Although detailed and long-term involvement in medical care is essential for maintaining quality of life and ADL. Few reports have followed the changes over time in patients with Werner syndrome. The Werner syndrome registry was established in 2017 to investigate the disease, recruit participants for clinical trials, and provide information to patients and physicians. In this report, the updated cross-sectional and longitudinal analysis of Werner syndrome registry database were performed to reveal the current status and natural course in patients with Werner syndrome. It was reported that the patient with Werner syndrome die from cardiovascular diseases and malignant neoplasmas. However, in this study, metabolic disorders were well controlled and no one died from atherosclerotic diseases, suggesting that these disease, diseases contribute to life, increasing the life expectancy. However, malignant neoplasma is a major cause of death with high prevalence. And uh, renal dysfunction is a new concern for the patient with Werner syndrome. Next, I talk about the malignant neoplasma. The prevalence of malignant neoplasma is high at approximately 30% and is an important cause of death. In Werner syndrome, um, malignant neoplasma 
develop at younger age, about more than 10 years than the general population. And the non-epithelial neoplasma, in particular, are often fatal. While some cases with epithelial neoplasmas survive for a long time after onset. Therefore, the screening of malignant neoplasmas are very important. Next, I talk about the renal function. It became clear for the first time that there is a discrepancy in renal function depend on the indexes. This left figure shows the mean renal function in each age group over the entire study period. The blue bar shows the estimate and glomerular filtration rate calculated by creatinine. And the red bar shows the body surface area and collected EGFR. And the green bar shows the EGFR calculated cystatin C. As you see, there is a, a discrepancy depend on the indexes. Moreover, we found that, um, that the rate of linear function decline may be rapid. As this left figure shows, the uh, linear function tend to be, tend, tended to decrease over three years. And the uh, BSA and collected EGFR show the significant decrease. The average rate of decline in BSA and collected EGFR in the patient with one syndrome was 9.1 ml per minute for three years. That is approximately three ml per minute in a year. Therefore, the rate of renal function decline was rapid than that of the general population at the same age. In conclusion, this study clarified secure changes in multiple patients with Werner syndrome for three years. The morbidity due to malignant neoplasmas is high even those in those of younger age. Therefore, it is necessary to carry out active and detailed screening examinations for malignant neoplasmas. Regarding renal function, renal function decline rapidly. Therefore, evaluation based on the BSA and collected EGFR or EGFR calculated cystatin C. And it is also necessary to pay attention to the content and the amount of the medicine such as NSAID, antibiotics, and a, a drug for cancer to be used. Lastly, we will continue the registry and the research in order to change the future better for the patient who are still suffering. Thank you for watching. Thank you.